Hi, welcome to Blockholic. We have been listening to this word, right, all this time. What is a hash? Right, we are talking about a block hash, previous block hash. If you are not getting what I am trying to say, this is a video which is a part of my 10 video series blockchain basics. The link is in the description. If you are missing, just go back there and have a watch about my earlier videos. So you will have a better understanding of what I am talking now. Okay, let's get started. What is a hash? A hash is a function that converts an input of letters and numbers into an encrypted output of a fixed length. Let's say you have a huge data and you want to encrypt the data at the same time the data whatever you encrypt it won't be you know maybe a, um, a gigantic string, string or something. So the data whatever you enter it it is also equal and it is also a fixed length of string. Let's see. Let's see in live. So I have opened a website. So this is a timestamp generator.com. So here um, I'm entering some string block colic. So I'm clicking on submit. So here you can be able to see that I'm generating a, a string. See, I got a string. Okay, this is the string. Uh, let's store it somewhere here. Let's put it here. So just to compare. So here I have it. So what I typed blockholic. So if I type blockholic, I got this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the B into a capital B and I'm going to submit. And there is another hash. See, there is a huge difference between the earlier hash and this hash. Let's see here. So this is the blockholic with the capital B. If you see these two strings, these two things, whatever I got it, it's totally different and there is no match and it's almost impossible to crack with this to this one. Okay, so in my uh, in this video, I talked about a huge string, right? Let's try with a huge string. I have taken this word and I pasted maybe 100,000 times. The, trust this won't be good enough. Okay, now what I'm going to try, I'm going to click submit again. Ah, there you see. Now, after entering this big string, still I got the same length same length of a string a big string blank blockholic text and still I got the same length if you observe the length for the blockholic and the length for this blockholic and the length for this gigantic string is still the same this is what is the hash which I am talking about so uh, when I say it here let's see a hash is a function that converts a input of letters and numbers into an encrypted output of a fixed length what I'm doing here is that I'm taking a big giant of letter or any kind of a transactions in this situation and I'm putting into the blockchain and then I'm getting a fixed length of string which we are calling as a transaction hash the transaction hash will the current transaction hash will be the transaction hash previous transaction hash for the next one and my earlier transaction hash is the previous transaction for the current hash okay don't worry about all these things just remember that a hash is a function that converts any length of a text or a numbers into a fixed length of string that's all all matter thanks for watching if you liked my video Comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now.